To prep your wearable pump cups, what you're gonna do is you're gonna place your disassembled pump parts in a basin that is big enough to hold them. And then you are going to pour boiling water over them. The reason that I recommend this versus boiling them in a pot on the stove is that when you boil things in a pot on the stove, you are actually risking the cups coming into contact with the sides and bottom of the pot that are hotter than the boiling water itself. So if we use this method and just carefully pour boiling water into the basin, the water was at the boiling temperature. So we know that it's going to sanitize the parts like we're hoping for, but we also know that it's going to be cool enough that it's not gonna damage our parts. So you're just gonna let them sit in this basin for about 10 to 15 minutes. So now that these parts have been sitting for 10 to 15 minutes, we can trust that they are sanitized and we can go ahead and pull them out. This is still hot water though. You can still see it steaming. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use tongs to pull it out and you're just gonna place it on a drying rack or you're gonna place it on a clean towel on a counter. And then you're just gonna let those air dry. To hand wash your pump parts, what you're going to do is you're gonna put all of your disassembled pump parts into your wash basin. You're going to add a couple pumps of breast milk's friendly soap. I really like the Dapple or the Medela personally, but you can also use unscented dishwashing liquid. We try not to use regular scented dishwashing liquid because it does tend to leave a nice smell on the pump parts, which can carry over into the milk and some babies don't like it. So you've now got your wash basin, you've added your soap, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill this with hot water and allow it to soak for 15 to 20 minutes. So this has been soaking for about 15 minutes. So what you're gonna do is you're going to pick up the parts, be sure that the water is cool enough to touch. Then you're going to use a silicone dish brush and you're going to clean all of the surfaces inside and outside. You're then going to rinse this part in cool water, removing all the soap. And you're just gonna set that to the side to dry. What you want to be careful of is when you're washing silicone, you wanna make sure you're getting into all the grooves. This is a backflow protector. So we've got this little groove around back here. So you're just gonna make sure you get into all those grooves before rinsing that part. And let's see if we can find a duck bill valve. I don't normally go fishing for particular parts, but for this video, we will. Okay, so here's our duck bill valve. So a lot of people try to stick a cleaning brush into this, and I find that that wears it out sooner. So what you're gonna do is you're going to gently take your fingers and you're going to rub the outside of the valve to help make sure that the soap in there is getting agitated. And then you're gonna to want to run water directly through it. And then you're gonna allow these parts to air dry on a clean towel or on a dish drying rack. 